My name is Lacey and welcome back to Late Night Coloring Mama. Tonight I have my April 2024 coloring book and supply haul. Now it's not a huge haul, it's actually a mini haul. I wasn't originally going to do a haul, but my husband, um, he went to Hobby Lobby because he wanted to get stuff for his laser cutter and he got me everything for my haul. So let's get started. Yes, he picked out some things, brought them home and said, I got these for you. So, okay. So, you know, my last Hobby Lobby haul, I got some markers that were Master's Touch Fine Art Studio markers. Well, he got me more of them. Ones that I didn't have yet. So I thought I'd share them with you. So these are what they look like. They have chisel and brush. They are alcohol markers. This is number 46, Vivid Green. I used one of my markers for a background in my Mindware coloring book, and I loved it. It felt like I was actually painting. It felt smooth like butter. Now that's just on that paper. I don't know how well it's gonna work on other paper. I haven't tried, but on that paper, I really did like them. And this is what the brush tip looks like. And this is what the chisel looks like. So I thought I'd just share some of the colors and then I'm just gonna put them over next to me in um, that holder that he built for me. Okay, the next color he got is 22 French Vermilion. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It's kind of bright. And they were actually on sale still for $1.77. They were $5.99 originally. So he got all them for $8.77. And when while he was at the store, he sent me a picture and I told him, no, you know, you don't have to get me anything. That's okay. You know, but he did. So I got 58 mint green light. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting. I'm sorry. But I'll show what I can. 33 Melon Yellow. One sixty seven Pale Green Light. So basically, I'm having a full collection. Well, I don't know if it's full, but a, a big collection of these markers. So it's always nice. 70 Royal Blue. And some of these colors are the same as my Dabo and Chobo. The, the colors, not the numbers. but And I love my Dabo and Chobo. I use them in um, my Mindware coloring books quite a bit. I use variety too, but I use those quite a bit. 179 Aqua Mint. Six. Vivid Pink, 132 Milky White, that looks pretty, 132. and I do plan on doing a swatch with all these markers so you guys can see, and so I can see them all too because I've only used one, 65 Ice Blue, 72 Napoleon Blue, 92 Napoleon Blue. If I sound a little rough, I am getting a little bit of a cold. 91 Natural Oak. 183 Phthalo Blue. I might be saying that wrong. I'm not sure. 8 Rose Pink, 198 Tender Pink, 
145 Pale Lavender. Sixty-five ice blue, and I have three more colors. One twenty-four fluorescent green, and they all fit perfectly in this holder. Sixty-six baby blue. And 196 Pale Pink Light. So that's what I have for supplies. All those markers just adding to my collection, which I love. And then let's get into the books. Now the books were not on sale. You may be able to get these on Amazon and they may actually be cheaper. I think these are kind of, well, one of them I think is kind of expensive. The other one is okay. Okay, so the first coloring book I got, this was $10.99 at Hobby Lobby, um, Kaiser Color, um, Ever Bloom Coloring Book, 40 Floral Designs. Now, I will show you some of the pictures. Um, any books that I ever share with you guys, even in my old videos that I haven't do, done full flip throughs, if you want to see full flip throughs, let me know and I'd be happy to do them. And I haven't even looked in this yet, so... Ooh, this feels shiny, this side. You can actually color these. The paper feels nice and thick. This book belongs to page... There's those. All flowers it looks like I believe that's why it was called in bloom and I love flowers so this would be a really nice relaxing look to color in for myself and he didn't even know if I had these or not and I don't so there's that I love that arch with the flowers. Oh, those sunflowers. Very pretty. I'm gonna love coloring this when I color in it. Like I said, the um, pages are pretty thick too. Okay, and that's all that I'm gonna share with that one. And then again, this is just a mini small haul, but I'm very happy and lucky to have this. This is so nice. And then the last book I'm going to share with you, adding to my collection of these books as well. This will be my third one now. Um, he got me Joanna Basford Worlds of Wonder, a coloring book for the curious. This was $17.95. That's a little much for me, but that was very sweet that he thought of me and got this. So, and he knows I, I am liking the way these books look, and he knows I would like more of them. So. He must have been listening. <laughs> so I'll just flip through some of these. Oh wow, this would be so much fun to color, creating your own world. And I've never looked in this one either. 
humpback whale and the water's going down. Oh, that is wonderful. I love that. Peacocks. I have a lot of book with, books with peacocks. I've mentioned that before. And I even have a diamond painting with a peacock. Must be my type of bird. <laughs> Looks like a castle. Oh, yeah. Oh, an underwater scene. I love that. Very pretty. Oh. Look at these little houses, how adorable. Looks like that's a bakery. Maybe they're shops, like plant shops, or maybe they're houses, I'm not sure. This one looks like a cafe. This one, there's a cat in the window. Oh, fun. These are going to be super fun to color. And the pages in here are thick. Oh, that bee. That's awesome. Hanging out clothes on the clothesline. I wish I had a clothesline. My parents had one when we were kids. And I loved it when we'd hang up the clothes on the line. Mom would, and then they'd dry, and... Looks like they got some mail on their steps. Little storage spot. That's cute. It's like a bed floating away almost. The book, dreaming of what you read maybe. I like this air balloon and the night sky. I love night sky too. Really cool flying fish. It makes me think of Mario. The flying fish level when I was a kid. That's pretty. That boat. Maybe going up to their house. There's an underwater house. Oh, I love that. There's so many colors you could do. You could do light, dark, multiple, fluorescent. There's so many cool ideas with this book. Well, any book, technically, but... I really like this one. And that one's really pretty, too. Oh, some treats. Fruits. Maybe some lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. Popsicles or ice cream bars. Milkshake. Sunday. Some candy. And look at the cat on top here. Sleeping. Like, I want some of those goodies. detail too. The line work. It all looks, 
I don't know, calming and not so much tiny, tiny that it's like overwhelming. It looks like a nice tiny. I don't know how to describe it. Some type of tent, maybe like a circus. Kind of looks like a circus tent. Oh, look at there's a go up in there to get to the castle in the sky, in the tree. Sky and tree. Very cool. Well, it's actually just the tree. It's up in the leaves, the branches. I thought of clouds for some reason, but that's not it. But. And you get that and a color palette test page. How cool is that? I love when they do that. So yes, and they may be on Amazon too, I'm not sure. I think Joanna Bassford, pretty much all her books are on there, but I don't know about the other one. But yeah, that is it. That's my mini haul for April. I wasn't even planning on doing one because I was happy with everything I got in March. But my husband surprised me, so I thought, I'm excited, why not share? So if you like this video, please consider giving it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, please hit that bell button down below. So you'll be notified each time I upload. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful night and happy coloring. Bye!